Okay, good afternoon class. So today we're looking at trigonometry. We are in uh, examples for exercise 5. Is that correct? So yesterday we did the explanation and everything, but because of load cheating we didn't do the examples, okay? So this is exercise 5, and exercise 5 is on page 102. Now exercise 4 deals with the tan, the tan identity, which is not examinable, okay? And because as we know we are pressed for time, so we don't have the luxury to go through sections that is not required for us to go through, okay? So this work example is on page. Example one is on page one oh one. Okay. Okay, so the question says prove that 1 minus cos 2x is equal to 10x times sine 2x. Okay, so as we know this identity, we're going to work with the left hand, right hand sides too. Not so much. So on the left hand side, what can be done on the left hand side? We know that cos 2x can be written as 1 of 2, 1 of 3, sorry. Can be written as 2 cos squared x minus 1. 1 uh, minus 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And then cos squared x minus sine squared x. And of course sine 2x, or 2 alpha, because they've been alpha plus alpha d. Sine 2 alpha can be written as 2 sine alpha cos alpha. And of course the compound identity is evident as well. Is that cos alpha minus beta can be written as cos alpha cos beta uh, plus sine alpha sine beta. And of course if that is plus then this would be minus. And of course sine alpha plus beta can be written as sine alpha cos beta plus sine beta cos alpha. And if that is minus, that would be minus. What's up? So looking at the left hand side here, what can be done with cos 2x can be one of those three. Not so. So which one are we going to go with? 1 minus 2 sine. So it's 1 minus into 1 minus 2 sine squared. So why are we going with that one? Because of this one that can cancel it. Not so. So let's multiply that in. What do we get? 1 minus 1 plus 2 sine squared x. That cancels. So your left hand side is actually equal to 2 sine 2x. Or well, it's also equal to 2 sine 2x. Okay. Now, is the left hand side equal to the right hand side? No. no. Which means to say I must work with the right hand side as well. And as you can see, there's nothing much that I can do from here. Other than to change it to 1 minus cos, and the sum is going to become bigger again. Okay. So, so, what can happen on the right hand side? This is the right hand side of the equal side. Okay, change 10. 10 can be written as sine x over cos x. Now sine 2x can be written as 2 sine x cos x. 2 sine x. This is over. So what happens? Cos is cancelled. So sine x multiplied by 2 sine x is going to be 2 sine squared. What do you notice? The same. Is it equal to that? Any confusion there? Eh? 
if you get an extra number. Example two, example two is on page. Same page. Okay. So here we have given the question says prove that cos 2x over 1 plus sin 2x is equal to cos x minus sin x over cos x plus sin x. Alright, so which side are we going to work with? Left hand side. Okay. Left hand side. So if we're looking at cos 2x, before we go there, we look at the denominator. We got sin 2x. So sin 2x can be written as what? 2 sin x cos x plus 1. Not so. However, <coughs> the 1, the 1 can be written as? What can the 1 be written as? Cos squared x plus sin squared. You all agree with that? Cos squared x plus sin squared x is 1 plus 2 sin, sin x cos x. Why did I write it like that? So I can get a trinomial. Not so. <clears throat> so if we replace cos with an x and a sine with a y, then this is simply going to be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Not so. And this trinomial can be factorized into x plus y, x plus y. So if I apply this information now to this trinomial in the denominator. What do you notice? If cos is x, it's going to be cos x plus sine y which is sine x sorry, in this case times cos x plus sine x. That's all. If we now look at the numerator, what can that be changed? If we look at what we are going to end up with, the denominator needs to cancel with one of the numerator's uh, factors. Not so. So if you're going to do it and change it to the first one, it won't be able to cancel, as well as the second one. However, the third one can go into difference of 2 squares. So it's going to become cos squared x minus sine squared x. So let's go. What do we get? Cos x plus sine x times cos x minus sine x. So what happens now? Okay, the same thing at the bottom. So it's cos x plus sine x times cos x plus sine x. Okay, cos x minus sine x. Cos x plus sine x cancels, leaves you with cos x minus sine x over cos x plus sine x, which is equal to the as you can see that is the same. Okay. Is there any confusion there? Last one, example three, and it's on page, same page. Okay, so our example 3 on page 101, we are told that prove that tan squared x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x over 1 plus cos 2x. 
So which side are you think you're going to work with on the, in the sum? Right hand side. Okay, as expansion is easier than reduction. So it's the left hand side and the equal sign we're working with. Okay, so which one of the three can cause two x greater than alice? One minus two sine squared x. Why? Because they're the ones who cancel. It's one minus one minus two sine squared x. And this is over. Now one plus two cos x. The two cos x now can be written as what? Cos two x can be written as one of the three. Two, so it's one plus two cos squared x minus one. Why that one? So that ones can cancel. Okay. So what do we do now? We get rid of the brackets. So it's one minus one plus two sine squared x. And this is over. That cancels. Two cos squared x. Now what? One and the negative one cancels. Not so. So what do we left with? 2 sine squared x over 2 cos squared x. So what happens? 2 is cancelled. What is sine over cos? 10. Sine squared x over cos squared x? 10 squared x. Which is equal to that? No, it's actually the other way around. This is your left hand side. Which is equal to? And this is your? Normally we work on the left hand side, no? but it also depends on what is on the left hand side. Okay. Do you see any confusion? Okay. Any confusion? So that basically brings us to the end of exercise five, um, examples for exercise five, which is on page 110.